Hi, I'm William Hung. You might know me best as the one who sang the She Bangs, She Bangs song on American Idol. And you're watching a podcast where nostalgia comes alive. It's Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show. Roll it. Welcome to Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. Join Jake and his friends on a journey through pop culture of the past, where they interview professionals in the worlds of acting, directing, writing, puppeteering, and so much more. Who will they be chatting with today? Find out in this Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. Happy to be with us. Thank you for joining. As always, I'm your host, Jake Duffenball. New today, of course, our co-host, Chris Bixby and Matt Bingo. How you guys doing? We're doing, doing good. good. Hi, everybody. How are you, Jake? I'm doing great, Matt. Thank you for asking. Excellent. Who do we have today? Well, today's guest we have for today. Uh, he's a motivational speaker and a former singer. Uh, a lot of you may know him in the singing side of things, you know, for his fame for his from his American Idol audition, singing the She Bang song, and of course, you know, of course, uh, other things that we all touch base uh, throughout his career later on. Uh, please welcome Mr. William Hung. Happy to have you here, William. Welcome. Happy oh. to have you here. <laughs> yeah, it's very happy to have you here. Yes, indeed. Yes, absolutely, indeed. Yeah, it means a lot. Thank you very much for taking time to do this. So, uh, um, the, uh, to kick things off, uh, we know who you are, but for those who haven't, could you tell our audience a little bit uh, about yourself and what you do? Well, um, I was a former civil engineering student studying at UC Berkeley. I struggled with my academics. Then one day, I saw a poster for a school talent show. Then I decided to try out, singing the same song you heard on TV, Ricky Martin's She Bangs. To my surprise, I won. I won a DVD player. That gave me the confidence to audition for American Idol. Nice, nice, really nice. Awesome. Terrific. So what was your childhood like and how did you grow up? Um, I loved singing karaoke with my parents since I was 10 years old. But something many people may not know about me, I love playing video games and trading card games. I was obsessed with Pokemon. Uh, I actually made it all the way to the top 32 for the World Championships in one year for Pokemon trading card game. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, that's quite a commitment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... What kind of made you want to get into singing? I know because you're not a singer anymore, but at at the time, you know, did you always want to be a singer? Well, it depends on what you mean. I I, I still sing. I sing karaoke with my family and friends, and I still perform oh, okay. sometimes. So, oh, it's, nice. so uh, yeah, I mean, I don't plan to be a professional singer by, by the traditional standards. Like, right. I'm not going to get a music major, you know, at, at right. 41 or 42 years old. But yeah, you know, I, 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 I like singing for fun. I, I like have, having a good time and then share that with people. Nice. Uh, that's wonderful to hear. So um, now um, I'm, I'm kind of curious. I know a lot of people might want to know about um, how to like um, your... You, you know, auditioning for American Idol kind of come about? Um, well, I, w- I saw the news that they have auditions coming over to San Francisco right after I won the talent show. It was very convenient, very close to my to my school and where I lived. So I, I, I took a chance. You, uh, you just show up. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah so... and, and it's really, it's really interesting like how like that you're, that you like originally, it wasn't going to be She Bangs. Was it going to be uh, um, your your first like original song that you thought for audition was uh, Two Worlds from the Tarzan soundtrack? Yeah, that's true. That uh, I I was uh, surprised that that uh, one of the staff members she told me that that like what other songs I know, uh, and then I told her She Bangs by Ricky Martin. And then that's the song I used to audition in front of Randy, Paula, and Simon. Nice. And that's yeah. actually a, a perfect segue. So what was it kind of like getting to meet, you know, the, the judges and, you know, Ryan Seacrest and all them? What, what was that kind of 
part of the experience like for you? Well, I always knew that going in that Simon was going to be the mean guy, Paula was the nice lady, and Randy was the wild card. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Love that. Yep. Very, yeah. very, very, very true. So after your audition, you gained a huge amount of fame in various ways. I'm curious, do you remember the first moment where you realized that you would become such a big sensation? Yeah, of course. I mean, I didn't expect the the, the overnight celebrity. Uh, it was so crazy. Uh, but I knew that, that something could happen when I got like hundreds of emails right after Fox broadcasted my audition. And those emails, they were legitimate emails. They came from Entertainment Tonight, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, Ryan Seacrest Show. I couldn't believe it. That's awesome. Wow. And do you have any like any crazy like fan reaction stories? I'm sure because you know since the audition, you know you became this, you know big name. Do do you have any crazy uh like fan reaction stories? Yeah, uh, the, one of the craziest uh fan reactions was when I uh, sh uh filmed a movie in Hong Kong. Uh, oh. It's called Where Is Mama's Boy. And then uh, I remember I finished filming one day. Uh, my parents and I were going back to the hotel. And then there was this crazy fan. He's like, it's like a middle-aged guy. Uh, and then he, he, he ran towards the elevator. He'd get down on his knees. And then uh, he, was, he would back for my picture and autograph. It's like, how could you say no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> That's great. I I I I love it. I could you know, so we kind of like talk about like kind of like big association because I remember like there was like you know a video that's still that's been on YouTube for, for oh gosh for like a while that it was just your audition and I remember the last time I checked it has like some sort of like two million views. Oh wow! Yeah, like, <laughs> your audition still still holds up. It's still still so and people just want to enjoy it. And now I feel like not a lot of people too not a lot of people know about it, but you actually kind of like um came back in american idol like on, on the season finale a couple years ago yes i did i was at the <laughs> most one of the most recent uh, reunions oh nice oh nice oh, oh nice wow. so, so so since we kind of talk about that like what was it like kind of like you know getting to return and show in some way be back in you know in that part and, and you know and seeing and meeting all those you know people again that you ever you know heard of or never heard of they met them or, or anything like that so what was the kind of whole experience like particularly well um i met so many wonderful people throughout the years uh one of the most uh wonderful people i met was uh one of the winners uh carrie underwood uh she's so oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. oh oh my gosh her music now is <laughs> absolutely Creation. I think she's probably one of my favorite country singers. Now yeah, because oh, yeah. I, I've been knowing her music for 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 a while. <laughs> yeah, when I started listening to like country music, yeah, she yeah, I'm so proud of her accomplishments that she's been having. So so wonderful about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So now your audition, of course, eventually led to appearances on different talk shows and commercials. You mentioned a a few of them. Um, how did it kind of feel overall that, you know, because of your audition, you're now getting all these, you know, different opportunities? I'm very grateful. Uh, I, I feel that it gives me uh, hope as an independent artist, uh, because without the fan support, you know, I would have been, uh, how do I say it? I would be afraid to put myself out there because uh, unfortunately there was also uh, a lot of critics a lot of criticism, you know, saying that you're like, oh, I, I'm not good. I'm not very good. I I, I portray stereotypes. Uh, it, it's, it's tough to take that in. But when I have the fan support, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, maybe millions of people, that's how I know that, you know what? I cannot please everybody. I feel that that I if I can bring joy to other people that I'm serving, that's a, that, that's, a, that's an amazing accomplishment. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, that's what matters most. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, now, of course, you know, in 2004 and into, uh, in 2005, you released your own albums like Inspiration, Hung for the Holidays, and Miracle, Happy Summer from Rim Hung. Uh, can you talk about those and what was those like getting to, you know, record all those covers and 
and all that. What, what was what was what was a fun experience like for you? Well, it, it's a it's an honor to uh, get to record my own albums. Uh, uh, it's it's been great working with the uh, Koch Records. Uh, they gave me a, a twenty five thousand dollar advance. You know, twenty years ago as a college student. That was like like life changing opportunity right there, uh, so so I I went with it. I took the chance, and then the first album, Inspiration, somehow it became the number one independent album on Billboards. It, it oh, was crazy! Wow. Congratulations! Wow, that is great. awesome. That's nice. That's number awesome. Number one. That is yeah. so happy for you. Wow! 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 Congratulations! Now, since we kind of like talk about um the the albums uh. Do you have any like any favorite songs that you got to do for each of those albums? Of course, if you remember them. Yeah, I I, I like songs like like a YMCA, Rocket Man, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, Just Do It. It's an original song, uh, written by my record company. But those songs uh have have been uh serving me very well. I still perform it to this day. Nice. Oh, nice. That's great. Cool. I, I I actually recently um got to uh listen to some of like, your songs. There's some other songs that which of course you already bring those up. There's some other songs I I that I love is uh tie out a yellow ribbon. We are the champions. Yes. Uh, Thank yeah. you, Bricky Heart, and of course, yes. you know, and of course the actual cover of She Bangs. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's so <laughs> wonderful. And and you even got to do like a holiday album. That, yeah. I, I, right. I love that. It's so it's so great. And like and. I'm, I want to talk like kind of like a deep, uh, kind of like a deep cut because, um, before we're going to move on with other things they they recently done, um, there are times that you actually got to be in the baseball field singing to take me out to a ball game and, and you yes. did and you did that one time in Toronto. Toronto yes, that's right. So like, you know, what what was that like? You getting to you know sing that and you know. And have those opportunities like that. Uh, that was so much fun. I, I still remember that that uh, I love Toronto. Uh, it's one of my the dream places I wanted to go to have vacation or visit. So uh, you know, not only I got to visit, but uh, and see some of my family and and other friends there. But I got to like throw the opening pitch for the Blue Jays. That oh, was cool. Nice. Oh, nice. That's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's really cool. It really is. So, moving on from music, after retiring from the music business, you decided to pursue a career in law. What was the overall transition going from music to law? Um. First of all, I need to correct uh the 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 the, the part where you says like you know retire. I never retired. It's more like I I I I didn't want to do full time because it's very difficult to do full time. Just not um, professionally. I, but I, no, I still do it. I mean, it's still a business. Yeah, but, but, but kind of like, you, but you just rather move on to like oh. other things. But still, but still doing like it as like as a like as a kind of a side project. Right, right, right. That's true. Yeah. That's right. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the transition was that I I I wanted to spend some time, go back to school, finish my degree in math. So I got my bachelor's degree in math, and then I started working for the sheriff's department. Mm. Mm. Nice. Awesome. Interesting. Nice. So now, uh, as Jake mentioned in your uh, introduction, of course, you are um, also a motivational uh, speaker. How did motivational speaking kind of come about? Well, about um, six or seven years ago, um, I feel like just singing She Bangs, uh, earn a little bit of money, perform for my fans is, is, is fun. But maybe I'm not making that impact that I would like. So I also want to get more opportunities to share my story out there. And that's how I got into the motivational speaking. Nice. That was awesome. That's great to hear. Um, mm -hmm. Great that you're, that you're doing that now. That, that sounds really wonderful. So um, but, so before we're kind of like start to um, uh, kind of like wrapping up very soon, uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, American Idol fans uh, you know knows your knows you from your audition and and all that um i know th i know they appreciate for me to actually just it's a fine if you can sing a little bit of she bangs for us <laughs> i don't know about that my neighbor is next door so a little bit scary to sing that song but maybe i do a key breaky heart for you this time okay okay all right but don't tell my heart 
my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think you understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, he might blow up and kill this man. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. Nice. <laughs> That's great. Nice. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh -huh. That's wonderful. So, um, so of course, except you know the uh, motivational speaking that you think that you're doing now. Can you share anything you're currently working on? Yeah, sure. Um, I am doing a couple of uh, movie projects. Uh, right now, I um I finished filming for one of them. One of them, I'm I'm about to do the the uh the filming for next next week. Uh, but right now it's still uh not like fully out in public yet. They're doing post production uh, edits. So yeah, when it's out there, you guys get to see it. Wonderful. So what the best the best way to stay in touch uh, is to uh, follow me on Instagram, William Hung Official. Nice, very awesome. nice, awesome, great, wonderful, I'm, great. I'm looking yes. forward to when those when those uh coming up. Yeah. So yeah. to to end this off, so the last question that Matt's about to ask is a question we ask all of our guests at the end. Go ahead, Matt. Thank you, Chris. If you didn't catch it at the beginning, folks, this podcast is called Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show. When you think of nostalgia, what do you think of? Or in your own words, how do you define the word nostalgia? Uh, it's like a happy feeling uh, that, that you have from the past, and then you relive again. Nice. Great words. Great. Then done. Well, cool. William, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. This was a blast. No problem. I take care, man. Of yes. Course. Yeah, you yeah. Was, yes, you as well. Uh, Definitely looking forward to uh, things that you have going on in the future. Um, and I'll let you know when this goes up. Sounds good. Yes. Right. Thanks again, William. Thank Enjoy you. The rest of your day. Bye. It's goodbye from us as well, everybody. We absolutely enjoy our time having a, a quick little chat with uh, William Hung. I know this one was a short one, but um, it was very fun. Um, as someone who uh, remembers watching that audition, no, it was it was it was kind of cool getting to talk to him, wasn't it, guys? Oh yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It's, it's I so do great. I do be, I do believe this is the first person we've ever had from American Idol on the show, so that was yeah. very cool. You know, as somebody who grew up watching American Idol, um, it was really awesome. So yes, very very fun. Short, but a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, but absolutely. yes. Um, Yes, links to social media will be in the description down below for people who want to connect and, uh, you know, check out his work and more. But it's goodbye from us as well. Keep on the lookout for more wonderful interviews coming your way. And as always, what do we say, Jake? Keep nostalgia alive. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you for tuning in to another wonderful Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show episode. Be sure to follow Jake and the Happy Nostalgia team on social media, check out our website, and stream the show wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And as always, remember to keep nostalgia alive. Bye-bye.